All right, I just wanted to do this video just simply talking about the fact that Calvinism is in fact a Gnostic doctrine. Calvinism is the spirituality of the Gnostics. And I'll be covering this more in other videos in the future as well, but the doctrines of Calvinism were, were taken, were basically Augustinian. Augustine, when he converted out of Gnosticism, uh, created these doctrines, which John Calvin then took as the baseline for Calvinism, the five points, the uh, total depravity, uh, irresistible grace. Uh, was it? Well, there, there's um, the total, total. There's also the uh, there the unconditional election. I meant to say, and there's also the uh, the uh, perseverance of the saints. All those doctrines come from Gnosticism that that Augustine uh, borrowed when he converted out of the Gnostic religion, which then, like I said, John Calvin. Because essentially, all that Calvinism is just Reformed Catholicism. They're, the Protestant reformers were just Reformed Roman Catholics. Uh, they they never actually really left Rome. They were just trying to change Rome, and. They, they kept a lot of the Gnostic baggage that Rome had, especially from, from uh, Augustine, and that was Calvinism. And the Gnostic origins of Calvinism are very plain and blatant. I mean, the idea that, that, that God chooses who gets saved, man has no free will, not only is that completely Gnostic, it's, it's full-on Gnosticism, it's also pagan in origin too. There's plenty, uh, for example, the Greco-Roman pagan religion had the same uh, theology as well, that there's no free will in the context of mankind and also salvation. So not only is Calvinism full on Gnosticism, it's also Greco-Roman heathenism, which of course Roman Catholicism is a repackaging of that as well. So I'll be covering more on this in the future, but free will is a scriptural term. Uh, it appears 17 times in the Word of God. Uh, free will is also a scriptural doctrine too. It appears all throughout the Word of God. The best example is the fact that in Mark chapter 6 verse 6, Mark chapter 16 verse 15 and other verses, Jesus Christ is rebuking those for not repenting, implying they could have done so but refused to do so. You know, if they have no free will, why is he, why is he rebuking them over not doing something that they had no ability to do anyway? So, it's a, it's a false theology. See, Gnosticism, uh, which of course, like I said, Calvinism is based in, is a flawed theology, a flawed false religion. So obviously, it would be very easy with someone with the Holy Spirit to pick apart this false uh, heresy. So anyway, don't be deceived. Um, in the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.